Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, November the 26th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Wow, James Spann goes to one a day and leaves me with this challenging forecast. Well, let's start with what's going on right now. Cloudy skies across central Alabama. You can see from the Birmingham sky cam, clouds have moved in overnight. And uh, we can see that it's not quite as cloudy over to the west, uh, Fayette looking a little sunnier with at least some peaks of the sun coming through. And I expect everybody to see a little bit of sunshine today. And then just a lovely shot as we look out over the Tom Bigby River at Demopolis and see some higher clouds off to the west. So just a, a beautiful morning view down there and um, uh, cool, but not too uh, chilly. Surface map shows that we have high pressure off to the east. And of course, you know what that means. That means we're going to see moisture increasing, which we've already done as a result of those clouds that we just saw. And so moisture is increasing and the main storm systems are off to our west, but they will be getting here soon. In the upper atmosphere, we're dealing with a very strong, very deep trough uh, over the eastern part of the Rockies and that will be coming out. And as it does, it's gonna bring us a variety of weather, including the possibility that we might see some snow. Not, not a big event here, just a snow flurry kind of event, but certainly put us in the mood for Christmas as we head past Thanksgiving. Ahead of that storm system, of course, temperatures have surged northward, at least warm temperatures have surged northward up into the uh, central Great Lakes area. You can see 60s all the way up to southern Missouri, with uh, va and these are values at about uh, 6 o'clock this morning, so definitely uh, warm for this time of year. And of course, we're staying warm right now. Uh, temperatures across central Alabama, as I begin this, we're, we're in the, uh, well, we're, they had pretty good range. I'm not sure I believe the 43 at Tuscaloosa, but uh, anyway, uh, primarily in the 50s. And uh, 62 is the typical high for this particular time of November. So these temperatures uh, are, are fairly warm. Radar shows that we do have a uh, nice front out to the west of us moving our way. Not going to be a problem for the Iron Bowl. Looks like temperatures down at Auburn should be around 70 for the high with most of the game in the 60s today. So very pleasant uh, time for the, at least pleasant temperature wise. And rainfall looks like as moisture has increased quite a bit, precipitable water up around uh, between one and a quarter and one and a half inches. It looks like we could see some heavy rain at times with values uh, across the area, especially the northern two-thirds of the state, on the order of one to two inches. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk, uh, primarily uh, over Louisiana and southwest Mississippi. However, the instability just does not uh, support that in continuing. So we end up, while you may on Sunday hear a few claps of thunder, I can't rule that out completely. In instability values, Cape values definitely holding down. So I don't think we're going to see any severe weather out of this. All right, the 06Z GFS model run this morning, and, and basically there we are. Uh, looks like we stay dry here today. The surface map, most of the weather off to our, uh, to our west. Uh, now, as we get into uh, Sunday, pardon me, tonight at midnight, the system gets a lot closer and we begin to see rain possibly getting into the western sections uh, of the area, especially after uh, sunset. Tomorrow, of course, the trough continues to be a major player. As you can see, the, ex the latitudinal extent of that trough, very deep trough coming across or approaching the Mississippi River anyway. And of course, that uh, will uh, produce little waves along the front. But notice here on the surface map for Sunday, notice the cold air down into East Texas, the 540 line dipping all the way down to just north of Houston. So burr, yes, this is going to be some cold air. Now let's take another intermediate time at midnight and you see, and this is midnight, um, let's see, uh, got to get the times right here. Uh, this is uh, midnight, um, Sunday night, early Monday morning. And you can see that the cold air is now into Arkansas and Louisiana. And that uh, means that any leftover moisture is likely to be wrung out in the form of snow flurries. The trough does come by finally or, or gets into our vicinity with a closed low over us on Monday at midday. And so that means that we could see some showers uh, in the way of snow showers. And yes, could we get 
a potential dusting. Well, it's possible. The ground temperatures are extremely warm, but it certainly looks like this would be a cold situation where on Monday we could see some snow flurries. Now, let's take a look at uh, the sounding very quickly. And uh, here is the sounding at 18Z on Monday, and you can see it's still fairly warm down near the ground. So you got to keep in mind that, yes, it'll be cold enough aloft for snow, but if we get any precipitation, it likely could be in the form of um, uh, uh, wet rain. However, by midnight uh, on uh, Monday night or early Tuesday morning, you can see that we've wiped out that little low, uh, that little um, warm layer down near the ground. So it looks like even though it'll stay warm here at the ground, it looks like we do have the potential for some snow. And again, mostly in the form of flurries. This is not a major, uh, you know, three inch event or anything like that. Ground temperatures are very warm, so not looking at at a major snow event, but certainly get us in the mood as we've just passed Thanksgiving and heading into the Christmas uh, stretch here. Now we move out the forecast to Tuesday midday and the uh, close low heads out across uh, western Virginia and that should continue to move the moisture out of here although even on Tuesday it looks like we stay in the potential we stay in the clouds and we stay in the potential for some snow flurries by Wednesday the system has moved on out and that's the big system up over New England but we're getting a small trough that's coming through. However, most of the moisture has been wrung out by this time. So while that comes through and we still see some chilly air uh, by looking at the thicknesses there, we certainly don't expect to, uh, there to be any precipitation on Wednesday. Thursday, we stay dry and the cold air is still uh, quite evident over the northern Rockies, dipping all the way down into uh, the central and southern Rockies to some extent. That next system will come by us quickly on Friday, the 2nd of December, so we're going to enter uh, December somewhat on a chilly note. However, it does look at the moment like that system will bring us some clouds, another shot of cold air, but not uh, anything in the way of significant snow or even uh, significant precipitation of any sort. When we get to the end uh, of the one-week period, uh, we've kind of got a double-barrel pattern with a closed low out over Baja and the main um, upper trough over the central part of the country. So that's uh, at least a chilly pattern for uh, most of the central part of the country. And extending a little bit into voodoo country on uh, Sunday, the 4th of December, we see that closed low over Baja coming out as a little short wave, and that should bring some moisture. And this this uh, portends a potential interesting another weather scenario, especially a winter weather scenario, later in about a week. we got to get by the first one first, so let's get by that one, but certainly keeping us uh, on our toes in the weather department. All right, let's go out into Voodoo a lot further, and this is the 7th of December. We're basically under a ridge, so we stay pretty dry, and then the flow goes pretty zonal. Now, I'm not sure I really believe this. Uh, this is the 12th of December. Not quite sure I'm buying into this because the pattern is so active right now, it seems that the GFS uh, is quieting it down a little too quick, but we'll see how that plays out. Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I appreciate you staying tuned and uh, stay with us. We'll be posting on the blog about things as they happen over the next uh, few days. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Hope your Saturday is a wonderful one and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.